Hey guys, it's Alex here. Now on this channel, I have done a ton of videos, either sharing with you products that I think are really good or represent really good value. But this is the internet, so today we are going to bond through hatred and I'm gonna run through five things that I think are a complete and utter ripoff. Before we get into that, if it's your first time here, I put out a video every week with tips on how to set up and maintain an awesome reef tank. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get stuck in. First up is the Ecotech battery backup at 170 pounds or 170 US dollars. Now on the face of it, 170 pounds is not a lot of money to save your tank from disaster in the event of a power cut. And it is no exaggeration to say a battery backup could very easily make the difference between life and death for your entire tank if your power goes out all day. But if you ever open one of these up, you will see that it is just an 18 amp battery from an electric wheelchair and a few wires. The batteries retail at around £50, so almost all of the rest seems to be pure profit. And the worst thing is that the cases are secured by rivets, so you can't easily replace the battery after three years when it's past its prime. Now from what I understand, much of the profit for these sold in the UK is actually eaten up by the cost of shipping them over here in the first place. And it may be a similar story in the States, given they are almost a stone in weight each. But even if that's true, it doesn't excuse Ecotech riveting the case shut, which will encourage users to buy a new one after three years for another 170 bucks, rather than just replacing the battery for 50 notes. Next up is Red Sea Reef Energy. Now I don't consider the product itself to be a ripoff. I use it myself and I'm very happy with its performance. And when bought in bulk, it is not too expensive. A one litre bottle like this will set you back 32 pounds and will last up to four months on a tank the size of a Red Sea Reefer 250. But if you want to buy the smaller bottles, the half litre bottle is 60% more expensive than the litre bottle and the quarter litre bottle is over 100% more expensive. Now we all know you get discounts for buying in bulk, but the markup on the smaller bottles is far too great in my opinion. And I'd feel completely ripped off if I had a smaller tank and only needed a smaller bottle. Next on my list of reef tank ripoffs is Kessels. Now Kessel lights are another product I'm actually very fond of. I loved my old AP700 because it made my tank look absolutely stunning. And if you're in the US, you might think I'm being a little harsh. The AP9X costs $840, which is the same price as the Radeon equivalent, the XR30. But here in the UK, where an XR30 will set you back around £735, a Kessel AP9X costs over a third more than that at a cool £1,000. And that is the single biggest reason you don't see Kessels much here in the UK. Now there might well be a legitimate reason for the price difference, but Radions are vastly superior in terms of value. Not only are they much cheaper, they're also a lot more powerful in terms of power output, so you'll need to buy more Kessels than you would Radions. All of which means you've got to really want that Kessel Shimmer to splash out the extra Spondoolies. And the runner-up might come as a bit of a surprise. It's Evergrow's or Reef Breeder Photons. In the UK, a four foot Evergrow will set you back a little shy of 550 pounds, which on the face of it is decent value given it's probably the equivalent of a Radeon XR30. But they were 490 pounds six months ago, and it wasn't that long ago that the same unit cost around 300 pounds in the UK. And the only thing that seems to have changed significantly is the popularity. So you're paying all that extra cash mainly because they know they can charge you more. But it's even worse in the States where the four foot reef breeder will set you back around $630, which is the same price as the excellent and popular AI Hydra 64. Now regular subscribers will know I actually have two four foot Evergrows over my tank and then I absolutely love them. But there's no getting away from the fact that the components are poorer quality than the mainstream lights, so the fact that they are now priced to compete with the big boys feels like a bit of a piss take. And as far as I can make out, the additional costs in the States is purely down to the name. And the single biggest ripoff in the reef aquarium hobby is named corals. For years now, there's been a trend of selling tiny frags with quirky names for higher prices. Now, there are many corals in this category that are truly deserving of high prices for small frags. And in my opinion, there is absolutely nothing wrong with spending big bucks on beautiful corals. But the issue I have is with otherwise normal corals getting sold for twice the price simply because someone's put the word toxic in the name. And the trend is at its worst with unscrupulous online vendors who post heavily photoshopped photos that bear no resemblance to the coral you're actually getting. 
Now when it comes to the name game, I'm sorry to say that I am as guilty as the next man. For example, I bought this Jason Fox Kryptonite Acro for £150 as a 1 inch frag. And while it is a nice coral, the reality is it's nothing special and looks an awful lot like a Miyagi tort, a frag of which will probably cost around £40. So maybe one day if people like me stop buying corals just because of their names, shops will stop selling them. So those are my top five reef tank ripoffs. Now I bet there are loads more out there, so let me know any ones you can think of below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.